Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. May Allah's peace, mercy, blessings be on you. Alhamdulillah, we are still going with the same chapter, the chapter of Al Masad. And we stopped where Allah Almighty said about Abu Lahab, Sayasla naran that Lahab, that he will enter to a fire with that flame, the fire which is full of flame. Now we told and we informed you before that his real name is Abdul Uzza bin Abdul Muttalib. And they called him because of his reddish face, Abu Lahab. Lahab means also a flame. And Allah Almighty says, Sayasla naran that Lahab. He is Abu Lahab and he will be in Lahab, in hellfire, in that flame. Fire that is full of flame. And now we will get into the next ayah, the next verse where Allah Almighty is talking about his wife. So Allah Almighty said in verse number four, وَامْرَأَتَهُ حَمَّالَةَ الْحَطَبِ وَامْرَأَتَهُ حَمَّالَةَ الْحَطَبِ His wife is the carrier of the firewood. And this is very important, that she used to actually go and collect the firewood and she used to pick the throne from these wood or from all these woods that she is collecting and she used to throw where Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him used to walk. Can you imagine? Can you imagine that some people they go into the extent that they want to harm Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him in any situation, in any condition. So Allah Almighty said about this lady, وَامْرَأَتُهُ حَمَّالَةَ الْحَطَبِ His wife is the one who is collecting and the carrier of the firewood. And it also said that she was also very staunch enemy of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. That means that she used to support her husband in al-batil, in the falsehood. He was falling and he was following the falsehood and she was with him following the same path and this is very important for all of us for the brothers and sisters for the husband and the wife you should not follow your companion just because he's your companion you only follow the truth it doesn't matter where it's coming from you should only and only follow the truth and if you follow a person who is telling you false and telling you to follow the falsehood, then never, ever try to follow this person. Because anyways, he is misguided and he will be in the hellfire without if he does not ask for repentance and they will, he will drag you with him. So this is very important. So Allah Almighty described his wife by saying, وَامْرَأَتُهُ حَمَّالَةَ الْحَطَبِ That his wife is the carrier of the wood fire. About his wife, his wife's name is Arwa bint Harb bin Umayyah. So she is from Umayyah tribe, which is very known tribe. And also she is a sister of Abu Sufyan. So Abu Sufyan later on he became a Muslim and he became a best, one of the best companion of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. But... She didn't get the hidayah, she didn't get the guidance, and she died on that. And her death and her future destiny is really bad. What happened to her, what Allah Almighty said about her, we will talk and discuss in detail after the break, so stay with us. Dear viewers, welcome back. So Alhamdulillah, we are almost at the end, almost last two ayat and two verses from this chapter, chapter of Al-Masad. And 
We are talking specifically about the wife of Abu Lahab. Her name is Arwa bint Harb bin Umayyah. So Allah Almighty said about her, وَمْرَأَتُهُ حَمَّالَةَ الْحَطَبِ that his wife, means Abu Lahab's wife, she is the carrier of firewood. And she used to throw these uh, woods and thrown a front of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that even that he cannot walk. And when he walk, he will find it difficult or difficulty while he is walking. So look, she is trying her best or her level best that she wants to stop and hurt Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, from his da'wah, from his message to reach out to the people. And Allah Almighty ended up his chapter of Al-Masad by saying, That around her neck or on her neck, there is a rope of twisted fiber, the palm fiber. Why Allah Almighty given that lady that strong and punishful or full of, punish full of pain? What is the reason? What is the hikmah behind that? Because one day, it says in the tafsir that one day she came to the people and she said that she is having the, one of the valuable necklace on her neck. Very expensive one. So she said that I will sell my neck, I will sell my necklace, and whatever I will gain from this purchase or this sell that I will sell, I will put all this money in order to hurt and harm Muhammad, peace be upon him. Can you imagine? So she sell or she sold one of the most expensive necklace that she is wearing, and she said that I will sell it, and whatever the money is coming out of it, I will spend every penny of that money to hurt and harm Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So it says, because of that, Allah Almighty said, Fi jidiha hablum min masad. Around her neck on the day of judgment in the hellfire, there will be rope full of fire, and which is the palm fiber that just full of fire and it will burn and punish her neck and her body because she did something that she is thinking that she did something good in her life but as the recom recompensation from Allah Almighty is what that Allah Almighty will put her into the hellfire and around her neck instead of that valuable necklace and that expensive necklace that she sold Allah Almighty will put the rope of the fiber. So this is in short about all these ayat. And this also tells us that even though in your life you will find a messenger, not necessarily that he's a messenger of God, but a messenger who is having a message of khair, who is having a message of goodness, who is doing a good deeds, who is following, who is having the message of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and he's trying to do his best in his life, trying to convey the message of La ilaha illallah, there is only one God. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his messenger, he is trying to deliver this message to the people. Never ever try to stop these kind of people. Because the consequences, if a person does not repent, the consequences are really bad and harm and harsh and painful for those who are always stopping these people. So we will just quickly round up, round up and recap about all the verses from the beginning. So Allah Almighty started by saying, Tabbat yada Abi Lahabin wa tab. Oh, or ruin the hand of Abu Lahab because he did something to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So it came back to him. And then Allah Almighty says, Ma agna anhu ma luhu wa ma kasab. That his wealth will not gonna save him on the day of judgment. And then after that, Allah Almighty said, Sayasla naran that Allahab, for sure he will enter to the hellfire, which is full of flame. Wamra'atahu hammalat al hatab, his wife is the one who carries the firewood and try to harm Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And what is the result? Fiji diha hablum masad. Around her neck, there will be a rope full of fire on the day of judgment. So I ask Allah Almighty to bless us all. 
Until we see you till the next time, take care of yours, yourself. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.